India uh, is is very much on the global stage uh, with with one of India's leading, if not the number one company in the renewable space with Renew Power getting getting listed uh, and getting merged with 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 the SPAC in the US. SPAC, right? What is a SPAC? Uh, it's a special purpose acquisition company, clearly created by a group of sponsors, uh, very significantly experienced management team who's got experience in, uh, in, in capital markets, in doing m and and really creating value for investors. So sponsor is the key. You form the SPAC and you raise capital from, from the capital market. And, but with a single agenda is to do acquisitions. Fundamentally, it is also known as uh, a shell company or a blank check company. And fundamentally, you are giving trust on the sponsors. So you're raising really capital on the back of the quality of, of the sponsors. Uh, SPAC is not a new thing. It's been there for the last 30 years. But if one looks at the trend, right, 2020 clearly was called the year of SPACs because $83 billion was raised from SPACs. And that contributed 50% of all the IPO that happened in the US. In 2021, in the first three months alone, $90 billion have been raised. So one can imagine close to $170 billion of money raised in, in, in the last 15 months. The average IPO size has been in the range of $300 plus million. If one moves forward in terms of uh, some of the key market transactions that have happened in SPACs in, in, in the US, I think one key takeaway when I was looking at this is that out of the $170 billion uh, of capital that has been raised, uh, close to $135 billion is still sitting as dry powder to make acquisitions. And I feel that's a huge opportunity for, for Indian companies to kind of look at this opportunity in a, in a very serious manner, because that's the dry powder of targets that is going to be merged uh, with, with a SPAC. What, it, what does it mean for India? As I said, as I started, that uh, in my view, uh, with with the uh, announcement of Renew Power, uh, I guess uh, it is real. Uh, it, it is not just fundamentals and theory and definitions and opportunity. It is real. Uh, but it's not a new thing for India. You've seen companies like Yatra, Videocon, and of course, India Hospitality, which was one of the first pack that got listed on the LSE uh, in the hospitality industry. Uh, way back in the 2007 days. So very clearly, if I want to sum it up from my perspective, is uh, this is a uh, uh, absolute opportunity for India uh, to, to look at an alternative area to uh, for capital raise and to get listed in, in, in the US or in the global markets. Mm-hmm.